Good evening everyone, CJ Peaceful. Just wanted to share with you my latest HHO generator. It is a dry cell that I have constructed over the past couple of days. I think in my last video, the HHO separation number four, I showed, uh, I believe, this plate, no, excuse me, this plate with one of my quarter inch diameter brass fittings on it. Um, and said that I would have another video later uh, showing this cell. Um, I got this put together actually uh, late last night. Um, it's made, it's comprised of uh, seven plates. Uh, obviously, as you can see, the way I've got it wired, there's a one negative and one positive plates and five neutral blank or floater plates, whichever you prefer to call them. Um, this has been running for about 20 minutes, and I tell you what, this is really, really neat. Um, just. <laughs> Just kind of watching how the water circulates through this system, I, I just, I think it's really, really fascinating, especially you can see this in the video. Those of you who haven't played with dry cells yet, it, 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 there's some really neat stuff going on here. The, the way the convectional currents form and disintegrate, evaporate, and then reform again, it's just, it's really amazing. But, um, at least to me, I think it's, it's quite fascinating. But basically, what this is is uh, I, uh, I bought two cutting boards from uh, Walmart. I believe they measured uh, I think it was like uh, eight by eleven or something. It wasn't quite you know U.S. American paper size. It was a little bit smaller. I think it was a buck ninety-eight a piece. Uh, they are a quarter inch thick. Um, I think the next time I'm going to go with you know something thicker because. I don't know if you can see this in the video or not, but um, uh, it, it has a tendency to sort of pull together more in the corners than, of course, inside the cell here. And that's not because of over-torquing, by the way. Uh, that's just uh, the flexibility. See, there you go, as you can see in the material. Um, uh, this cell is actually quite warm. Well, right now it's, it's, it's quite warm simply because of the way I mixed my solution. Uh, oh, and that's another thing. I had no idea that it would take so much lye. Um, I'm using Roybic brand uh, crystal drain cleaner, which according to this, it's 100% lye. I believe a lot of other individuals are using the same thing. This is the crystal form. Um, I want to say I used almost almost a quarter of a cup of this, it's just about empty now, for, well, let's see, two glasses of that, that's probably what, uh, half a gallon, I don't know what these are, but uh, about a half a gallon of water circulating through there, and as you can see, bubbling away quite, <coughs> excuse me, quite nicely, woo, get away from those fumes. Um, I'm at about four amps. Um, Boy, that's really nice. That is really, really nice. Um, and like I said, this is warm, rather warm, simply because when I when I started this, I wanted to um, get my solution as warm as possible to bring it up to its maximum uh, current as, as quickly as possible. Uh, I say that because of my other cells I've done with the open bath, if you will. Um, I've noticed that the warmer the water you start with, the quicker... Um, you can get the amps cranking and, and see uh, the maximum potential, if you will, uh, a cell could see in a very short period of time rather than waiting it, quote, warm up. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, I think what I'm going to do is let this run for a couple of more hours. Um, the amps have increased by about uh, half an amp in the last 20 minutes or so. Um, and the solution is it is quite warm so I don't I don't really foresee this getting much higher as far as amperage goes if, if, if what I've seen in other cases of the dry cells and I, I think this is going to be about it until I add more electrolyte which I'm just about empty but um, oh let me run this real quick I do not have I, I got this on the battery this time um, I am looking at uh, power supplies, but as I've said before, they're a bit expensive, and uh, I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible. Uh, but I am running, uh, this is running 
I'm running out of time. Uh, 11, about 11 and a half volts at the terminals. And still at about 4 amps. Thanks for watching. I'll lift out a few little important details here. I know I said I had seven plates the cell consists of, and I know under with this voltage, I'm um, probably not seeing the full benefits of all the neutral plates, but basically this is what I've got. Um, <coughs> these measure three by five, and uh, actually this is this is one of the plates that that uh, was part of the cell. And uh, I got several of these lying around, so I went ahead and did that. I kind of got the idea off of uh, another individual on YouTube who used the uh, Lowe's block-off plates and made a dry cell. Uh, but since I had these, I thought I'd give them a go, and boy, it's going. Anyway, more to come. Thanks for watching.